Hey there, my friends. It's Char Junior Yuki, bringing you Sepia Tears, Midwinter's Reprise. Very uh, sad that I could tell she's got. That is a very cute outfit. She's uh, kind of like the bluish purple, kind of almost like violet or magenta kind of hair. Kind of, I guess she's kind of got that purple, purplish pink eyes. The artwork just for this, just for her as well, because I guess she might be Sepia. She's crying. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a tear. There's some tears falling down her eyes from where the mouse is. This is another no, uh, virtual novel. So let's get this started. And it's all I know is that's going to be said. Uh, <laughs> which is quite obvious. I don't know anything else about that besides the fact that it's uh, going to be sad. And the music is a good explanation of it. You've heard of the Mayfly, May, Mayfly, right? It's in one of those odd winter days when the snow is falling, but it isn't cold. Either late November or the beginning of December, right? Around the time when the dollar stores start playing Christmas music and the couples go skating. One of those odd winter evenings, the same old 3 p.m., through the lens of the classroom window. I would describe the muted texture of the light through the glass, but it's become all too familiar. It'd be like raving around about the miracle of flowers blooming in the spring. The novelty's gone. Chairs screech against tiled floor and students chatter all around, but the sounds fall on me, weightless. The mayfly, the bug that lives for only a day, once it grows its wings. It's a great metaphor. You must have seen it before. My mind wanders sometimes. It's like being stuck in a room with the TV set to local news. Almost muted, but not quite. Or like reading a boring web page because you're too lazy to click away. Having a voice in your head that won't shut up. It used to bother me, but I can handle it now. Listen to music on the way home. Play a video game before you go to bed. Kill time in any way you can. It won't be so loud. Ever wonder why they even bother? It's simple, really. You pick up your books, stand up, put on your gloves as you walk through the win early winter chill. Get home, make a snack, relax, and let the process repeat itself. Life is the easiest thing in the world when you think about it. But sometimes, memories resurface. The horrible red-brown that encroaches on my vision, creeping from a box locked safely away. Oh. It's cold. I hadn't noticed before, but it looks like it's snowing. Was I out for that long? Real quick, I just want to say that the animation's pretty cool. I like the snow falling down. I was walking home from school a moment ago, I'm sure. Or is this a dream? That would make sense, but then why am I wearing my school uniform? And why is my wallet in my pocket? Well, that doesn't prove anything, but might as well roll with it. It's seriously pitch black here. I can make out the snowflakes just fine. But nothing seems to be lighting them. I'd be I'd better start moving before I freeze to Ah That light It's <whistles> 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 
<laughs> wow. Nice artwork. Holy crap. Oh, that music. You've come. Such a cute smile. Y you. Thank you for coming to see me. It's lonely here, you know. Lonely? Yeah. I can't deny that. It's a peaceful prison trapped in the darkness under this soft snowfall. But it's a prison. What's the matter? Aren't you glad to see me? I... She looks familiar, I'm sure of it. The memory teases me like a vivid lucid dream, but I can't grab a hold of it. It's been such a long time. I thought you'd be ecstatic. Uh, uh, uh. I open my mouth, but the words are lost. The more I search for the memory, the more her eyes bewitch me. As snowflakes land on the girl's hair, I force the first words out of my mouth. Who are you? Do you really not remember me? What a shame. We have so much to catch up on. Her smile is confident, mysterious, somewhere between angelic and doll-like. There's nothing to worry about after all. We have all the time in the world. So then, who are you? She looks at me in the she looks at she looks me in the eye and my heart stops. I'm the person you wish you'd never met. She embraces me and my senses freeze until the color strikes my eye against the metachrome backdrop. Hanging in the stillness, a red ribbon drifts from the side of her hair. And on the side of the side inside of that ribbon is something written. But just as fantastic as the is the fact that the words are scrambled, blurred, even through, even though my eyes are only inches from it. That ribbon. Don't you remember? It was your... Her voice fades away. I glance at the ribbon again, but before I can move closer, my stomach flips upside down. Uh -uh. The girl's warmth fades from my arms. Ah! <laughs> that was terrible. Is she disappearing? I'm... This... This world is... Silence. A knife pierces my heart as I realize something. It's not this world that dis that's disappearing. It's me. Ah. Uh, no way. No way. She was murdered. Are you kidding me? Is, she, is that what's what happened? I'm... I'm Quite sure it was actually a girl I'm, I'm playing here. Day one. Reunion. Honey Chan! Honey Chan, are you up? That sounds familiar. Mark! Oh, I guess I'm a guy. We're going to be late. Ah! Are you listening? Are you even listening to me? Really? That's actually decent artwork. Yeah, the background's a little blurred, but that's to be expected. 
Maybe it was he was the one who was being murdered. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Jeez, it wouldn't kill you to be a little bit more gentle. Gentle? Gentle? But I'm your cute little sister. I'm automatically gentle. Oh, that's adorable. That's like saying I'm automatically dependable because I'm your older brother. Wait. See? If you're not the dependable sibling you're supposed to be, that gives me the legal right to find new and exciting ways to tease you. Yeah, that's a little sister, all right. And who was it that wrote this law? More importantly, importantly uh, I have a history test this morning, so I'll leave you behind if I have to. Ah, uh, a little pouty face. Pouting, my diligently evil little sister runs down the stairs. Uh, yeah, she might be a little bit evil, but she's adorable. I guess, in all actuality, I'm actually a guy here, and the girl that we met was Sepia, I guess. If I was to guess. I, I guess I misread that, or misunderstood. That's, I, that's the thing, I don't, I had no idea. I don't have a clue here, I'm just jumping right into this. Can't she find a normal, a more normal form of torture? Sigh. <sighs> ah, scales. Ah. It's bright out. Pleasantly bright. When I say blight, bright. Can I get lost just looking at the pale blue sky, although I fear the cold accompanies it? See, this is why I hate winter. Nature has no mercy for the northern hemisphere. Actually, does that make a difference? Technically, every country has to be a part of the hemisphere, so there must be a war must be warm regions in the nor northern hemisphere. And if so, even so, the southern hemisphere would be. Mark, I've been working on my Hagoto Shinken, and I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> the last time she tried this, I shudder to think. Oh, I shudder to think about it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kota Shinka isn't a martial art. Yeah, holy crap. That's adorable. I'm pretty sure I know who my next pra practice subject will be if you make me my fail my test. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't it usually practice partner, not practice subject? <laughs> oh, here we go. So that's my sister, Rina. Since she started at my school, life has been hell. Oh, come on. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration. She is a nice girl, after all. She takes care of me, makes me lunch, and forces me to buy her stuff. That's typical. Get over it. Ah, see what I mean? I'm out of compliments already. And that threat certainly wasn't the first. <laughs> Stupid razor. Dad was supposed to show me how to use this thing. Anyway. Rin. Rin. How's that Rin? I'll just go with Rin. Rin is a strange girl, to put it nicely. She's always, always rattles on about things and about crazy ro robot war wars blah, 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 and melo melodramatic love stories that she watches trying to find new and exciting ways to pull me into her world. I haven't figured out why she calls me Onichan yet. Onichan yet. That means big brother, stupid. Is it ironic? Ironically unironic? Ironic because she thinks I'll think it's subtly ironically unironic? That's a lot of ironic. I can only conclude that it's a part of some devious scheme that I have yet to catch a wind of. The tip of the iceberg, so to speak, if the iceberg were a blood-related little sister. But as much as I'd like to criticize her, I can't complain. She still does better than me at school. HA! BURN! Alright, I'm almost done. But as much as I'd like to criticize her, blah, blah, blah. oh, 
and she always does a better job of cooking and budgeting than me. Because she's a girl. She has a plan. Guys like me buy on impulse. We don't always make lists. We see something we like, we buy it. <laughs> and then we try... <laughs> then we try and make, make excuses on why we bought it or why we have it. And she never sleeps in. And the only time she's late for class is when I hold her back. Which means get off your butt! Now do you see why life with her is hell? You complain way too much. You say she bugs you all the time and you can't stand that because yeah, you're the older brother, she's the younger brother. But here's the thing. You have your responsibilities too. You can't hold your little sister back even though... Yeah, that's so conflicting. Such a pain. Good morning, did you sleep well? I slept perfectly fine until I was awoken by a certain someone. How could you say that? Look at that surprise. How could you say that? You should be thank thankful to have a cute girl like me wake you up every morning. Oh man. You're not supposed to call yourself cute. Ouch. Save! I said save. Okay. Is that because we're blood related and you're a fur- That's not why. I mean, it's a little vain, don't you think? And it's not very cute. <laughs> True. But what if I'm only doing it to unnerve you? Good point. Well, I do have to thank you for keeping me on my toes all the time. You're like a mother. You're like my mother. Is what I was I want to say but I imagine her twitching smile and my fly my life flashes before my eyes so Rin you have a test this morning yep I did a quick review with my friends yesterday so you don't need to worry about it I wasn't worried oh is that your way of hiding your affection oh man uh, I like the addition of the stars and the cute little face Oh, that's so adorable. Was that even remotely implied? <laughs> I'm sure you'll pass the test. I just want to make sure you don't forget anything and end up failing for some stupid reason. Like that time I accidentally brought my Game Boy instead of my calculator. Yes. Like that time. Busted. <laughs> I was only 12. It was an innocent mistake. Oh, when have I heard kids use that excuse before? <laughs> Only 12. Regardless, you get what I'm saying. Just don't screw up. No, I know, I won't. But aren't your exams coming up as well? Uh-oh. I was going to go over to Luca's house and study for the, over the weekend. Something like that, or something like that. Even for you, that's not a very convincing lie. You can see the irritation on her face. Psychic. Busted. <laughs> but I did make that upon the spot. It wouldn't kill you to have a bit of faith in me. If I said I'll study, I'll study. Really? You'll spend your whole Saturday afternoon doing, do, doing math problems and rereading your social science notes. I'm tempted to say what notes? But that really is the problem here. Uh, if you want to prevent yourself from getting kicked in the stomach or basically your ass beat, yeah! Well, would you look at the time! Don't change the subject. Busted. <laughs> We're already late. Well then, we'll have to continue after lunch, right Onichen? That smile is so much more endearing before you get to know her. Made it! I leap past the front door as the clock strikes eight, inhaling a lungful of December air. Not mad, Mark. Not bad, Mark. Not bad at all. I thought she looked mad for a second there. 
You were taking so long with your bag that I thought I'd really have to put the gloves on. 